Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we are finally reviewing the new Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to a couple of parties. The first one is High Country Motors. They are the ones that are currently holding this Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. I'll include a link to their website in the description down below. And then also to my friend Sam, who is selling this Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. So if you happen to be interested in this TRD Pro, I'll include his number in the description down below so that you can reach out to him. And with that being said, also include a link to my car guide. Let's get into it. So powering this is a turbocharged 2.4 liter four cylinder that is paired to a hybrid system and an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 22 around town and then 24 on the highway with power outputs being 326 horsepower and then 465 pound feet of torque. And of course, TRD air intake. Before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see the air intake there. Not sure if that's all that functional, but you know, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. Now popping down below, really cool with the sequential design there with the headlights. You can see the Twitter logo front and center heritage font. We've got fog lights here at the bottom and then notice how the grill's all blacked out. And then we've got the TRD skid plate there underneath here. I'll give you guys a closer look at that whole set up that is cool but yeah definitely a lot more aggressive than the standard 24 tacoma now around the side here our turn wheel setup is 265 by 70 by 18 in the front and over in the rear and yeah these are big tires for a tacoma love the trd logo there in the center of the wheel and yeah all-terrain tires pretty dang aggressive now we've got the trd tuned suspension and shocks uh, fox is the brand for the shocks, so they're still using Fox shocks with this. And then the fender flares on the TRD Pro are painted black. This is a black truck, so it all matches. I think that's a really clean, uniform look. TRD Pro there on the side. Looks like we've got some rock rail protection there as well. And then just like other new Tacomas, we've got our multi-link setup in the back. You can see the shock there in the back as well. And then I think you guys are really gonna like the stance of this truck sits pretty level front to rear and i mean again that's good looking now taking a look at the key fob it's the normal lock and unlock function drop down for the tailgate nothing too crazy happening with that and then popping into the bed got a composite bed from the factory and this is pretty cool with the new tacoma oh charging ports and everything in there um but yeah overall good storage space for a mid-size pickup truck we also have an outlet here on the bed as well and i think this has the yeah, so you just kind of nudge it with your knee and then it'll pop the tailgate back up. Got the double taillight situation. And then notice we've got the button to pop down the tailgate. Of course, TRD Pro stamped into the tailgate too. And then you've got this A or B rear bumper, which pretty heavy duty. Looks cool as well. Got the beefy recovery points as well. See the receiver hitch there. And it's the rest of the rear. Almost forgot, look at those exhaust tips. All blacked out, pretty cool. And this leads us into the rear of the truck. So really cool with the contrasted red stitching. This is actually nice where you rest your arm. And look at these red seats. <laughs> very, very red with the camo print. Now I am interested to see the space here in the back. So I'm gonna squeeze behind oh, the shock absorber. I can't even fit back here. I legitimately, yeah, that one's not any better. So yeah. All the things here with this are true. It does say TRD on the back, which is pretty cool. Is this the adjustment for the seat? What the heck? Very interesting. I mean, it's cool to see the shocks on the seat, but yeah, they rob all the space here in the back. Uh, I do have some USB ports though. So we got that going for us. Now here's a quick look at the front door panel. You can see nice soft touch trim here and then with the red down below and it says TRD Pro right there. All of our window controls here with the mirror adjustments and all that blind spot monitoring and here's the front of the seat and by the way these seats are adjustable there's little adjustment points on them with the shocks not just those adjustments actually i'll show you guys in just a second and then you can see here at the payload 1200 pounds yeah. should have shown this earlier but you can see these little either this is set to off-road mode <laughs> but you've got off-road and then you've got street mode with the seat shocks anywho really cool looking pedals there got a bunch of controls here uh, including 
for your auxiliary item stability control. You can see for the tier D light bar, it's up front too. Now here's a quick look at the steering wheel. You can see the marker there at the top, which is pretty cool. Perforated all around. Got the TRD logo there at the bottom. Practical controls, including our depth cruise control, lane centering, got your volume and voice command controls as well. And then your regular stocks here. Also trailer brake controls down below. So we've got this full digital gauge cluster here in the center, which you can change what it shows. It's one of the things that I really like about the new Toyotas is just how customizable that is. And then this will also show the drive mode change. We got a fun animation with the different modes. These are just the street modes. Now we've got Toyota's new 360 camera system with this, which is really good, actually. Not a massive pickup truck, obviously being mid-sized, but it's nice to be able to see out of all of the angles. And you even have the off-road mode too, that you can go to. So that's great. And then yeah, it's got Toyota's bigger infotainment system, quick response time with the screen. And then I like this like carbon fiber they've put. You can see it best with the Toyota logo. It's pretty nifty. Just a regular Tacoma glove box. It still does the <laughs> wiggle thing, just like all of them. Um, we've got dual zone climate, and then this has heated and ventilated seats. So, you know, loaded up from that perspective. Got the wireless phone charging pad. Oh, also heated steering wheel. Shifter here for the eight speed automatic. And then we've got parking brake and auto hold. Traditional two speed transfer case. You also have multi-train select crawl control, got your tow haul mode, and then you can see here a couple features. So stabilizer bar disconnect, rear locking differentials for the camera, your trailer backup, and then you can see here with the cup holders, normal center console, nothing too crazy happening with that. Um, it does have the camera rear view mirror, which is cool, and then we've got the power sliding rear window, and then a center flip top. So here's a quick look at the window sticker. Uh, with this, you guys can see the standard equipment that this comes with. I like how it names all of the stuff. TRD Pro Signature LED headlamps. Um, but anyways, yeah, pretty much everything's standard. So the base MSRP, uh, total MSRP 65,455. Now this is uh, being sold pre-owned. Uh, so it's going for market value, which yeah, just like any of Toyota's other new products, they don't go for MSRP. We'll just leave it at that and see how it drives. Well, Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. Visibility of the hood, heads up display, both the mirrors, throughout the rest of the rear. And, well, without even driving it, I do have some beef with the truck. So you cannot adjust the seats up or down because of the shock absorbers. So like you can't recline the seats is what I'm trying to say at all. There's adjustment forwards and backwards, that's it. And, and you can do, you can raise and lower the seat. You just can't adjust the backrest. So, yeah, it's, it's not un an uncomfortable position, but like, you know, some people like to lean back a little bit. Other people like to be more upright and forward and you can't really make that choice at all. Um, I'm gonna actually go through here, doo -doo -doo. don't mind me. I thought that this road was drivable, but it's not so drivable, so. I think we're gonna have to go somewhere else. Yeah, we'll go out this way. Because I'm not gonna take someone's uh, low mileage new Tacoma through a bunch of dirt and stuff. I will say the torque is fantastic so far. Let's adjust these mirrors a little bit. That one's like way down. There we go. I can see the side of the truck. Oh, yeah. Well, that's got some torque. That has got some torque. Let's hope that this uh, takes us somewhere. Nope. <laughs> I don't film here ever, so I have no clue where I'm going. But, you know, it'll give us a chance to test the Tacoma TRD Pro in all sorts of driving circumstances. Now I gotta figure out a way out of here. I will say the suspension so far, really, really nice, actually. 
Like the shocks seem to be absorbing things just super well. I'm pretty impressed. Okay. I had the yield sign, but I guess they're letting me go. Well, that was weird. Yeah, the torque with this is wonderful. Um, I've driven the new Canyon AT4 of AT4X, uh, ZR2 Colorado, Ranger Raptor. I would have to say on the very low end, this is the best out of the bunch. The immediate response you get because it's a hybrid, because you've got some electric juice giving you that power bump right off the bat, it feels the best on the low, low end. Yeah, that's what this truck's all about is torque. I will say, I'm not really noticing anything with the shock absorber seats. Yeah, okay, that's not a turn either. There's gotta be something eventually. Okay, this is a real road, so let's try this one. Hopefully this gets us back. Man, and this does feel pretty big too, I will say that. You're just, you're tall. Oh boy. I don't know if this goes where I want it to go. I'm gonna have to just... <laughs> Do I live in Utah? Kind of. I'm gonna have to GPS myself back. That's someone's driveway. Oh, this is cool. It's kind of like a leftover little farming community. I wish we had more of these left. Someone's actually growing stuff too. Man, what a nice neighborhood. Big fancy houses? Nah. You're farming in your neighborhood? Now that's cool. That's what the cool people do. Gosh, yeah, the torque is so good. This is a cool truck. Genuinely. So, and what is that? Looks like a little castle. What in the world? Oh, it's a farm. Interesting. Very interesting. Huh. That's cool. So, <laughs> sorry, I get distracted. I've never been down here before. Maybe I need to. This is a cool place. Look at that. Look at that house. That's big. Crazy. Person's living in a castle. So the Tacoma Tierty Pro. Is this worth the hype? Is it worth more than all the competition? Because, you know... The, on the second hand market these will surely be going for more um than the competition and then you know just msrp it's also more and you know i think it depends you know i think that some people right they oh man that is good over the bumps the seats actually help out interesting here's a big bump boop yeah I'll be. It actually, the seats actually do something. Wow, this place is cool. So, cool truck. Really cool truck. Here's another bump. Bump, bump. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think it really is, is going to come down to what you're looking for. The Ranger Raptor's got the most exciting engine. This, the torque is fantastic. So I think that's a huge, huge plus. And let's just go extra slow through here. I know I said I wouldn't, but I don't have like any other way to get back that I know of. Extra slow. Um, anyways, as I was saying, we're going to keep it slow so that let the rocks come off the tires if there are any. Yeah, I don't know. I really like this. I like this more than I thought I would. It, it drives way better than I thought it would. So there's a big plus with that. I just don't know if it's worth more than a Ranger Raptor. I just don't know. It doesn't have the front locking differential, but Toyota's traction control system is so good. You don't really need one. <sighs> I need to probably get a comparison, but let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you go for this or the Ranger Raptor and 
Let's hope I can find my way back to the dealership. I think I... See ya!